It's hard to believe anyone could have once bullied this 90 kilogram WBC Youth World and SA champion. But he was a smaller guy at school and taking up boxing even the odds. He turned pro at 18 and hasn't looked back. <laughs> boxing is definitely not for the faint heart and it takes a very special kind of athlete to do this for a living. It takes incredible discipline. I learned this so hard by my brief stint as a boxer as you'll maybe remember. But I'm back with Avengers, baby. And I'm here today to learn from one of the best. <laughs> Kevin the KO Kid Lorena. Let's come up, dude. You're looking sharp there, my brother. Thank you, brother. Eh? It's, still, it's still a young career, but you've already got 10 knockouts, just 14 fights. That's an incredible knockout percentage, my man. Thank you. Now look, we take it step by step. Big aspirations, big goals. I've got my family to keep happy, so boxing pays the bills. You're up at 4.30 a.m. every single day. It takes a lot of discipline to get to where you are to be a champ. 100% John, you know, it's all about hard work. You got to put in the hours, you know, three sessions a day. If you're pushing an hour a session, that's good. Sometimes you got to go two hours. You got to put your miles in on the road. When your trainer says you're sparring eight rounds, you got to tell him you want to spar 10. You got to keep improving and not forgetting about your strength sessions. Keep your speed and power up. You know, if you want to be a champion, you got to push three sessions a day, otherwise you're wasting your time. Kevin achieved three distinctions in matric and often visits schools giving motivational talks on what boxing has taught him. So when you're throwing your right, if you bring your right through, you bring it with your hips. There, your power is generated through your foot. Hands up, and when you hit the one, two, the right comes through, you generate your power through your hips. Turn your hips, can't hit your chin. You see that? Chin's down, protected by your shoulder. Throw a one, two, keep your chin down. Turn your hips more. There we go, chin down, much better. Here we go, turn your hip, much better. That's power, more power. Okay, I'm putting everything behind these punches and as you can see, this bag is hardly buckling. If you wanna see why this guy's called the KO Kid, give us that straight left of yours at your lethal weapon. Check this out. Okay, that's power. I want to see that action in the ring, my man. Let's go. I'm going to make this bag buckle now. There we go. Sean Smith is Kevin's trainer. The son of an SA champion, Sean was an unbeaten amateur until injury ended his career. Sean, you've been with Kevin right from the start. What makes this kid so special? The day that he, he lays it up, I like, knew that he'd be able to make it in this his sport of boxing. He's just a good all-round athlete and he's a winner. Whatever he seems to do, he just seems to excel in. He's a super talent, super kid, and just an all-round awesome gent. Kev, the way you're hitting those pads, this is the only way I'm going to ever be in the ring with you, I can tell you that much. I want to know what's going through your mind from the moment you walk out there, your song's playing, as you're approaching the ring, when you're in the ring, you're taking hits. T take us through what's going through your mind. The moment you walk into the ring, it's, it's all mental warfare. You know what you've prepared for, you've got your opponent standing in front of you, and he's the only man standing in between you and what you want to do, your dreams, your success. So the job is to get the job done and let's beat him. That's all that goes through my mind is winning. Okay, now the big question is, are you ready to go a couple of rounds with the John Meister over here? No, brother, I'm always looking for work. On the bag, John had felt the champ's power. Most surprising is how quickly he strikes. Oh, shit. <laughs> you knocked my contact out, dude. Okay, contact's out. I can't see anymore, Kev. I can't see, that's my excuse. Let's go to the racetrack. Gotta go to the racetrack now. Outside the ring, Kevin is a gentle, caring guy. Jay and Steer joined Gina to take on the guys at karting. Are you doing this okay? Now Kevin punched me. Kevin, oh, why you punch my man? Yeah, want to fight with me? Like Challenge me. You don't want to take on this woman, trust me. <laughs> Gina, we've seen Kevin in the ring, it gets really intense. I don't even know how you watch. Yeah, it's extremely intense. I often think I shouldn't go and, you know, should just stay in hide. <laughs> but, you know, it's good. Um, for support and you know he's gonna do what he's gonna do. What about the build-up to fight week? Things must get really intense at home. Yeah, fight week is very hectic. If Kevin has to cut weight, there's a lot of fish, a lot of broccoli. Just make sure everything's prepared for him. He gets very moody. I'm ratty because I'm cutting weight and it, it can't be easy but I commend her because she's just a good lady. She's a good wife and it's all worth it afterwards but leading up to it's hard. Wrap him and cut him all the week basically. <laughs> You're taking some notes there. Oh, you're making me look bad. <laughs> 
I think let, let's sort this age-old debate out on the on the track because girls always think they're better drivers. She thinks she's a better driver. I am. Than she yeah. At all. I am. So uh, guys versus girls, what do you think? Done. Uh, let's do it. We can you do better it. pull it through. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by his speed in the ring, this round would go to Kevin too. You'll notice when I was in the ring, I didn't use any head protection with Kevin because I'm hardcore like that and I'm the same when it comes to the racetrack because I'm sexy like this. And when I feel sexy, I drive sexy. In Kevin's last title fight, he came out firing from the start. As a first team cares rugby player who was then offered a contract with the Golden Lions, the champ broke defences with his skill more than his brawn, and it showed on the track. Jono accepted second place. At least he'd beaten the girls. Well done, champ. Champion Jono. of the ring, champion of the racetrack. Ladies, where were you guys? You were oh. holding us up there. Oh, well, sorry. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Made me win. <laughs> Today, Kevin's happy, relaxed place is at home or out walking with Gina and his four-month-old son, Brooklyn. Kev, this is what it's all about. This is why you do what you do. I know it's been amazing um, having him come into our life just about four weeks before my, my last fight. It was a big challenge, but you know it makes you more hungry. Every time you go out there and fight, I do it for him. I do it for Gina. So the whole dynamics have changed, you know, the responsibilities, the routine. But, you know, it's all worth it in the end. You know, we had a newborn baby and obviously it wasn't easy, but we both pulled through, made it work and, you know, he did extremely well. <laughs> I think I'm definitely Kevin's biggest supporter. Win or lose, I'm there no matter what and love him no matter what, whether it's boxing or whatever it is. You had the amazing opportunity of being able to train with Floyd Mayweather himself. I get goosebumps when I talk about him. That, that is one phenomenal athlete. It was an all-round great experience, you know, I had the the chance to watch him prepare for the biggest fight in, of, of the century, Manny Pacquiao, and spar in front of him and, and get a little bit of advice from him and to just to rub shoulders and talk to him, you know. He, he's worked really hard to give his kids a better life and, and that's what I want to do. What advice have you got for all those youngsters that want to follow in your footsteps? Definitely the first one is never stop dreaming. Um, I believe you, the sky is the limit and set those goals and targets because no matter where you are in life, you can always be better and that's one of the mottos that I live by. If you're knocked down, you get up again. Little Brooklyn has taken notes.